I'm Dr. Chris Simon, DC. Let's take a look at the important balance of blood sugar levels and low thyroid symptoms. Now, proper blood sugar levels are critical for anyone, but especially for people with low thyroid function. Normal blood glucose levels medically have a pretty broad range, anywhere from, well, actually I saw one yesterday, 65 up to 105. Now, functional optimal blood glucose ranges are anywhere from 85 to 99. Now, according to the American Diabetes Association, a blood sugar reading from 106 to 126 is called insulin resistant. And anything above that, 127 and above, that's diabetes. And I know you may be saying, hey, you know, hey, I don't have, I don't have diabetes. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I mean, here's the thing you've got to understand is you don't have to be diabetic to have a blood sugar problem. We've talked about that before. Your, your body doesn't like it whenever uh, blood sugar levels get too high or too low. And anytime you get out of that sweet spot, that range, you start to get inflammatory agents, chemicals released in your body. Um, and this isn't a good thing. Um, here's a scary example of it, um, how traditional medical paradigm or model can go wrong. One of my patients I haven't seen for a while, he moved uh, out of town and came back in town and uh, came in for me to look at him as, at his hip. And during our examination, I noticed uh, several indications that showed that he was having some blood sugar issues um, toward, pointing towards the diabetes. So we, we did a, uh, a little thing and uh, went over it and I suspected he did. I talked to him. He's a sharp guy. He had uh, he'd already figured out that he thought he had diabetes. So he had all the signs and symptoms. He did research. Uh, and when he asked his uh, primary, hey, can you, can you do a blood test on me because I think I have diabetes? Well, they got the blood results back. He told me emphatically that he wasn't diabetic because his doctor told him he was a lucky man. He was one point away from being diabetic. So he didn't have diabetes because his blood showed, showed that he has one point away. Suffice it to say, that's not the uh, approach that we took with him. We uh, took a different approach. Um, Todd didn't have to go on any medications. He was able to control it through diet and proper uh, minimal supplementation and some exercise. And uh, he no longer has any of the signs and symptoms of uh, diabetes. Um, and some people might wonder, well, what, what, what symptoms can I have? You know, a few symptoms of uh, blood sugar dysregulation um, could be poor memory, forgetful, uh, fatigue after meals, um, increased uh, waist girth, um, as opposed to the hip, increased thirst or appetite, feeling shaky, jittery, tremors, blurred vision, um, depend on coffee to get yourself going in the morning, lightheaded if meals are missed, uh, crave sweets uh, during the day, agitated, easily upset, uh, nervous, um, can also wake up nauseated. But these are just some of the symptoms. Um, so how does that impact your thyroid? Well, blood sugar and adrenals, they just go hand in hand. If they have problems, one has a problem, the other does. And so this is going to negatively impact your liver, your anterior pituitary, which is up in the brain, your gut, your heart, your hippocampus, which is in the brain. Now, remember this too, the, uh, the inactive form of your thyroid hormone is called T4. The majority of this is what 97, 93% gets created in the thyroid. It has to get converted by other tissues into T3, the active form. So the important to remember is this fluctuation of blood sugar levels drastically affect the thyroid glands in a whole multitude of different ways and systems in the body. So supporting the hy hypothyroidism is futile if you don't take a look at the blood sugar level. You know, because if you don't look at that, the blood sugar is too high or too low, you're still going to have problems. So that's when we start to get these low thyroid symptoms. Now, diabetes is becoming prevalent in the United States, and some of the authorities are predicting that uh, it's going to bankrupt the, uh, the health care system. Um, we see people every day with blood sugar dysregulation and issues that don't have diabetes. So it's in your best interest to talk to someone who knows about functional neurology, functional blood chemistry, and they will just like to look at you as a whole, put all the pieces of your puzzle together. If you'd like to have more information uh, or like to be a patient, click on the uh, uh, new patient tab or give us a call at 480-991-9355. I'm Dr. Heimlich, DC. Thank you for listening.